Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL week seven preview between the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts. Now let's look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Browns. This game has to be played inside out for the Cleveland Browns. You look at the offensive line, the interior, Pinkston, Mack, Laveo, those guys have to be key in the running game. They get the Browns running downhill. You look at the exterior, the tackles, Swartz and Thomas, those guys have to keep those outstanding edge rushers out of the backfield so we can have time to throw. So the offensive line play this week versus the Colts will be key in the Browns' success. But on the defensive side of the football, how can they confuse Andrew Luck in the passing game? Let's go inside the lab to find out. I think the Cleveland Browns can have some success in the passing game versus Andrew Luck by utilizing a quarters, quarter, half type of coverage. And here's how we have it drawn up. You see quarters, quarters, half. That means he has a quarter of the field, he has a quarter of the field, he has half of the field. And the, one of the strengths of this defense is the fact that it's a the three roll aspect, the three deep roll aspect of the cover. So you can essentially get three guys deep, almost given the cover three look. And you also look at the fact that the squatted cover two corner disrupts the timing of pass routes that release deep. So he can buzz this guy, keep this guy busy at the line of scrimmage, and allow your defensive line to get pressure on the quarterback. And the strong safety on the strong side here is in better position to bracket or play inside out type of technique versus this wide receiver or tight end. He's in better position here. He's also in better position to help run support for the off tackle runs, which also gives the illusion of an eight man front if the play calls for it. So I like this a lot. And also you look at the squad, the coverage to the weak side and the way the corner is squatted and sitting, it essentially takes away the post corner route or any smash route type of plays that they would try to run. So you look at that type of aspect versus a rookie quarterback and you can see where it can cause some problems getting him to hold the football a little bit too long, hesitate, and could recall, result in interceptions for that Brown secondary. Let's move over to the Colts in this ball game. And I think mission number one is to make the Browns one dimensional. So I look at nose tackle Antonio Johnson versus the running game. If he can clog up the middle, be that space eater, that's going to make the Browns one dimensional. And that bodes well for the pass rush of the Colts, which is why their secondary is able to make big plays on the football. Guys like Antoine Bethea and company doing a great job back there in coverage. But let's go inside the lab to look at the offensive side of the football to see how they can get the passing game on pace versus the Browns. Andrew Luck can help himself out this week versus the Cleveland Browns by identifying coverages pre-snap. You see right here we have three, four different type of coverages that he's going to see. Three deep man, three deep safety invert, four deep zone combo, four deep man. And these two are more difficult to diagnose pre-snap, but we'll get into that in a second. You see right here, if he comes to the line of scrimmage and sees the strong safety lined up tight behind the, the outside backer, that should indicate is man coverage so he could check to different plays accordingly which means you're probably going to either see this backer responsible for this gap or this guy coming but if you see this stack type of alignment with a strong safety in the corner or close together equidistant to each other tight coverage on the receiver right stack behind the linebacker is probably 3d man now the 3d safety invert if you see the strong safety underneath the corner but one by three off of the tight end it's probably a 3D safety invert, so it's going to be a zone, so you could check according to this play. Now, these two coverages are very tough to diagnose. Why? Because they are similar type of alignments. Both strong safety and corner will be tight aligned behind the backer and next to each other, so it's tough to diagnose whether or not it's man or zone. But what you can do is send a little short motion, and that should easily let you know right away whether or not they're playing man or zone. So if Andrew Luck is going to have some success this week versus the Browns passing the football, he's going to have to be able to identify those coverages pre-snap. The pass rush kills the passing game, and that's what the Browns defensive ends haven't been doing so far this season. So it's imperative that these guys get after the quarterback, which is why I think they're the X factor for the Colts. It's all about the running game. The way you help ease a young quarterback into the ball game, you got to run the football. Vic Baller and company have to do a better job this week versus that Browns tender run defense. Now let's look at the personnel breakdown in this ball game. I think the Colts have very good personnel at the receiver and tight end position. It's all about execution, though, in a running game. And for the Browns, I think they have solid personnel on the defensive line. But again, they have to execute better in the run defense department. 
I like the Browns in this ball game. Both guys are playing with rookie quarterbacks. Both teams are playing with solid secondaries. Personnel-wise, the Colts have been a little bit more productive, but I think the Browns being able to run the football will be the key determinant in these guys getting the victory. I also want to give a huge shout-out to Brown fan forums and Colt fan forums for always showing football game plan support.